Okay, so I have a few things. Man, I swear, when it starts being like, um, I think it has something too to do with the, the time that I keep getting out. Uh, once Stella wakes me up, there's so much chatter going on in the universe, you know? And they just keep telling me things and telling me things and my head starts getting full. I swear to God, if I'm not ready to freaking tape by three or 3.30, it's like, oh my God, my brain is getting so full, you guys. And then they, um, I, you know, they, they don't understand. They were, some of the stuff that they um, show me and tell me, it's just, it's so funny. And uh, today, you know, I was having this whole little conversation or something. And, um, you know, and how much they need gratitude and appreciation. Like when they're helping you and telling you stuff, they you know, want appreciation, they want to be noticed, they want to be acknowledged, and, um, and so, you know, when we're having that conversation, then I was like, oh, so you got a little ego thing going on there, and then I was like, so the, all of ego is also being healed by all of, like, the warriors who are on the ground during this, this expansion, and so all of them, but it was just kind of funny because, um, I don't know, you just start seeing that they have personalities. But to me, I still, you know, the name thing, and I was talking about that, and I was like, I, I think that is, you know, part of the thing is these people who have to have, like, all these names, and it's like, you know, anything can call anything it wants to call itself. Like, that doesn't matter. The name doesn't matter it matters the information it matters the energy don't get caught up like i don't know maybe it's a shift from label into more labels like i don't know but anyways um so i had seen uh, a couple of things uh, this morning that were okay so one of them i was trying to think which thing would i want to talk about longer and which thing shorter this thing probably shorter I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I really am kind of tired. And w one thing I really realized yesterday, I saw um, this other content creator. And I really, really like her. She's also a nurse. I think she's a nurse practitioner. But um, she's also from the medical, and she also speaks out about the bullshit. And so she, um, she was saying that she had a 4G phone. And all... And I, she was through AT&T prepay. I guess all of the different ones have some sort of prepay because um, if you do the pre if your phone's paid off and you do the prepay, then it's way cheaper. And so there's benefits. So all of the different companies, I think, in order to cut costs for people or something, did some prepay. So she was on AT&T, but I, I think her, she said her husband was on T-Mobile prepay. And any and it happened to them both within a couple of weeks, but she said every single time she'd try and use her phone, which was a four, that it would pop up a message that she could no longer use it. It wasn't uh, compatible with the system any longer, and she had to come in and get a 5G phone. And she kept arguing with them. She said for a couple of weeks she kept ignoring it, and, or, and then finally there were, you she couldn't do anything she had to go in and get it so it was forced and they gave it to her for free she said i mean i should tell you something right there people that they're giving me a 1500 dollars phone for free in order to force me to upgrade so she got to stay on her plan and get this free phone then they did it to her husband so then as her medical stuff and knowing about the towers and stuff so then she's like so they're forcing us to use this five and even to the point where here have it for free everything that they want to kill you with they give it to you for free <laughs> here we'll give it to you <laughs> it's like oh aren't they so nice <laughs> you know, they're so fucking evil i mean the way that they know like how easy we are like it is like no wonder they laugh at people behind their backs like it's so easy to distract them and confuse them and stuff so Anyway, when you start really getting down to the nuts and bolts of it, you know, and you start really seeing what it is that distracts people, what keeps people focused in the matrix, you can you can see it's all shallow as fuck shit. So, anyways, um, the um, 
the, I mean, when I said something to her, because I, it just is kind of like I put it all together. And so, and I left a couple comments on her thing, but what I put together is my hair loss around my face, which all these people are talking about the hair loss around their face, my uh, eyebrows. It seems like right in here when I go to, because I always try and color in the grayish color ones and I can't see very well. So I just kind of go like, but, and so in here, I can't see very well. I keep being like, man, it, I can feel there's hairs, but it seems like they're really getting sparse. And, you know, up in here too, where, you know, that it just seems like it's just like right here and how much worse I've said about my eyes and I started thinking people's teeth and I was saying about the sinus stuff that has been going on which I'll tell you another weird thing about this too is earlier I um I still keep getting these things where it feels like like worms crawling around my fucking nose but I, you know I'm not getting any stuff out I think I'm pretty parasite clean personally like for how much stuff I do I, and nothing ever comes out, so, um, I gotta quit, you know, I mean, we are full of stuff, and we do have things moving on us all the time, I mean, there is a whole thing with the morgue thing that we're not allowed to talk about, and that's real, that's like the parasites that they're pouring on us are coming out, and, I mean, this morning, even when I got in the shower and turned the water on, it felt just like a gel went all over me, like, some of the days I don't even want to take a shower or bathe because it's like, what the fuck is this shit that is getting all over us? Like, motherfucker, it's, it's on the dishes. Even when I try and, it's like a, a oil slick, this rain fucking shit that's coming down, whatever the fuck this shit is. I have like a giant oil slick thing that just doesn't dry. It's like, okay, that's, that's real natural. It's like, oh, motherfuck. God, this shit is annoying as fuck. But, um... Let me think what I was, uh, where I was going with this. Um, uh, was it the shower thing? Um, I know there was something else I was going to talk about and I go off on my little tangent. Um, well, let me just go back to where I was. I'll probably figure it out again. Um, so the, the one video that I had seen that, um, this, I mean, I saw a couple. Oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to be on here as much. Once, is it like, this because the tingling? And, oh, yeah, the snot thing. Okay. So, it was um, something this morning. I don't know. But I felt something. Uh, I know I didn't blow my nose. I was just sitting here. And my nose is always really stopped up. And so many people are saying that kind of stuff now. So many people are having teeth things. I bet you there is such an increase in facial cancer. I, I bet huge. Uh, I bet tons more people with uh, eye cancer, nose cancer. Because you can feel, I can feel the tingles of the radiation hitting into my skin. And so I, you know, I usually, even when I have my phone during the daytime, I keep it across the room. I don't have it near me and I can feel it when it's up close. So I'm even going to more keep off of my phone more. So if I don't go in and answer comments, cause that's always my thing where I'll get up, pick up my phone and either they're telling me to go post this, say this, say that or whatever, which those are usually shorter on TikTok all day. Or I go in and check for comments. Otherwise, I try and just put my phone down because of you know I can see what it's physically doing to my fucking exterior. And so um, I think also it is kind of like aging our skin and stuff. Like even since I started using this phone, I feel like uh, it's giving more lines or something. And also though, that could be with time, what they're manipulating about time or, or who knows, like there's so much manipulation in this fucking thing. This is so crazy. We're in this like sci-fi horror movie. <laughs> so funny. Um, uh, especially it starts out all wholesome if you're born at the right time and then it turns into the fucking horror movie from hell. So, um, Anyways, uh, so the thing that I had seen this morning, so I think I covered all the stuff about the phone, yeah. 
but uh, just be aware it's emitting and they're trying to make sure everybody's on the five because it is emitting so much radiation. I mean, they're going to, I just saw even now how MS has been related back to, it's been isolated where it comes from and it's put into you just like everything else. All of this shit is put into you. All this autoimmune, it's like they go in and they attack a certain thing and or remove a certain protein. It's all with their, that function of the gang that got brought up to us, that was important for us to really realize what was going on and to start really wrapping your head around. Like, the, I mean, to me, it just relates totally to what humans do with dogs. To the be to the best of their ability. I mean, if if some of these people are more advanced, they would fucking set up labs in their house and be doing crazy shit. Let's take a little bit of that one, a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one. You know, a, a mad scientist comes out, and all these people, you got to have a fucking uh, bond with your creator, not a competition. <laughs> so uh, you know, it's it's all a relationship development as far as I'm concerned. But anyways, so. This um, one thing, so back on the dates for the January 2021 20, thing. So this was a news report somebody was sharing. So as of the 19th, so today's the 14th, I'm pretty sure. Could be the 15th, I don't know. I'm always just like somewhere around in there. But so it's only a few days away. But the 19th that uh, it's, I heard this date also in uh, 2021. In November, there was supposed to be something about our financial thing with the balance of the books for the whole entire country and that we couldn't meet our debt. And so I don't know. That was supposed to be when it was all shown that the Federal Reserve was empty, that they're playing with monopoly money. It's a game and all that shit. And they kept it going another year. So this is, to me, it sounded like another one of those. So the 19th. They have to some fiscal thing that they have to meet the deadlines on some things or something on, on the money. And so that, to me, hearing it now uh, with the same way of like, you know, every time I go in and see Joe is um, being shown more and more. <laughs> it's so funny, too, how they do it, like. I mean, they got the whole absurdity thing. Like, they're going to be is just so crazy. And people are just like, how yeah, can you believe it? It's like, yeah, I believed it. Like, when it was, <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Uh, it's just, it's funny because it just reminds me the whole thing. How things have to be so dramatic. Things have to be so shiny. Things have to be, it's like what humans chase is, um, it's, it's weird. But, you know, I think... As you awaken and you sit back more and you can release the judgment, you start seeing with clarity. You just see things so much more clear. But it is like your judgment will keep you trapped. But it, it is so much just as going into that mind of an observer, just as the watchers watching. And it, it is humorous. You know, it is no judgment, you know, like the soul outside of the experience is not going to be the same as what the uh, role is in the experience. All experiences that you can uh, consider and that you can um, acknowledge, you can also expand your own knowing and understanding by others' experience. I think I've talked about that before but it is your release on judgment and people you know in this frequency have such a issue with that there's so much you know about control and um you know i i think i talked about this yesterday but man i i know i've talked about it so much about like the portals especially i think i really got on it I don't remember, but it seems like I really got on it after that trip when I drove through Oregon. I think I was saying it before, like you just go out and you start traveling on the state highways and you get out from the towns and you travel through, you know, mountains or forests or something. Just like when my friend all the way back when we were 18 or 19 years old and she was traveling through the Appalachian from Dallas up to Arkansas to visit her family 
and she saw Bigfoot and she was scared shitless. She was scared to death because he ran alongside of her car and then he crossed in front of her. And her, you know, having firsthand knowledge of that story, that's was always was like, I know it, so I don't give a fuck how many people say it. I mean, that's your problem. <laughs> you don't know it's real. I know it's real. When you have a legitimate source and you hear the story right from the source's mouth, that's one thing where I never questioned it. Never. I always knew it was real. I always knew alien. I always knew all this stuff was real. Like, I would never turn around and tell somebody they're crazy and stuff. It's it's so mental. But, um, anyways, so the, um, oh, what was I going to say? Anyways, hopefully, the way that that is all going to line up, like, to me, it was sounding like, okay, so every day he's got, you know, some other concealed documents. I think yesterday morning it was all over the place. The third one was found then by the afternoon, his daughter, his granddaughter is speaking out about his diddling problems or something like, you know, all, it's just not going to stop. And so, you know, I, the 20th is still seeming like a good date to hold our hopes on, <laughs> hang our hopes on. Oh, please, the 20th. But there's supposed to be a lot. It's once that goes down, which uh, one thing that there's a lot of talk about on, on TikTok. I don't know about what other things y'all are on, but um, the military movement and that there's military all in. I keep going into those people's comments and saying stuff like, you know, they're there to protect us. I mean, that to me is a sure sign. They're about to take the puppet down. And so to me, they're putting up the guard to show like we mean business this is the, the puppet's going <laughs> and this is this is the changeover this is happening especially because it's already happening in other countries i even see people who are speaking out in this one curious and uh, you know like don't understand how some of these other countries are going in and arresting their governments and ours just sit around with their thumbs up their ass complaining about shit that's what i've said though all along and it's something about how they keep Americans just dormant in their mind or, you know, I think that they drug the air, drug the water. I think they do all this shit. Like, why do people just sit around like, yeah, can you believe it? What's on TV tonight? What's on TV? It's like, what? So weird. Like, how much abuse will you take? And then all you care about is like, somebody pick me up a pizza and turn on the TV. Like, governments take them and take it up the ass all night tonight. And it's like, What? God damn, you people. Uh, each person has to wake up. And each person is being traumatized after traumatized after traumatized. Like, oh my God. The stuff that is going on in people's lives. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, you know, people have got to... It's every single person's opportunity to claim their sovereignty against this system. And it all is dependent on how much abuse someone is willing to take, apparently. So, uh, one thing, too, that I had seen, and I thought this was interesting. This woman was telling her prophetic, well, everybody, well, there's tons of the prophetic dream things out right now. And um, there's sure a lot with um, uh, California, like, I watched, last night I watched, or yesterday after I got off of here, um, and I did some posts on TikTok, and somebody, I had seen where somebody had said, watch the day after tomorrow, and they shot a little clip, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go watch that. The revolution one I couldn't get into, because it was uh, too much, but when it very first started, I was like, oh, this is probably what's going to go down. Just uh, something with the magnet, it's all going to just like go off. And I would not want to be in the air when that happened, but there will be no, no powering. There's something, I think there's something with the, their electricity. There's something also I saw yesterday after that, and it was something about um, electricity and stuff like that. It keeps being shown to me over and over about this toxic electricity. It's like they try and pull from the energy in it, but they do it in you know malthus like 
I don't even know what that is, uh, um, effort or way of doing it or something. Like it isn't, it isn't in sync with how it should be. And that's why it's toxic to the environment, like gives us cancer and stuff. And so it would be kind of like, and, and it, it all has to, something to do with the carbon and oxygen, like all of this science stuff, you know, and what they're trying to do and what they're trying to hide from us and what they try and keep from us so that they can make us sick. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff. And now they're telling us, or I saw somebody totally, totally upset about, they're saying we get our our oxygen from plankton or something and they're like I thought it came from the trees like people are getting really confused who pay attention to that stuff because they're just saying all sorts of weird wacky shit and so those people you know that's part of their awakening is to see like you know what because it's the getting people to you know notice you know ask the questions and um but the um what was I going to say? Because with the oxygen and the... Um, uh, well, I'll also go back to the other thing I was going to say. Oh, because it was something with that... Uh, the dream thing. Oh, which if that uh, big cyclone hit last night, we've still had power the whole time. And not a bunch of wind. It's just been constant, constant raining. But, you know, we're not having anything like... And in, oh yeah, so in that movie, in the day, the, the day after tomorrow, let me think, because in the revolution, it had where all, all the electricity was affected, which that made sense to me because of all this stuff about electricity and it being something artificial, like the free energy is going to be a, a natural kind of different, it's going to be different than their toxic energy that they've trying to harness you know everything they do is so fucking toxic and so the um but the the um free energy will it will be more of a natural kind of thing so it made sense to me when the shift happens that all the power would go out because we'll lose electricity and people will freak out. But to me, that is like, it is going to be good. We need to lose it because I know that something better is coming. But people are going to freak out because the people who don't have awareness of what's going on, they're just going to be like, oh my God, the banks are crashing. Oh my God, the government. Oh my God, the, no, we have no power. You know, they're going to freak out. And so many people who don't even know how to take care of themselves, you know, or. <laughs> So, um, anyways, that one made sense. But then, and even when they started showing the people rebuilding and going into communities and uh, co-op farming together and stuff like that, the part where it got to, um, but I think our technology is going to be much more higher. Like, even if there was a period of time where I had to ride a horse and buggy, I would, I don't see that as being like a problem but I know the technology is going to be coming really fast where we're going to be moving it's so much different well I think the medical thing because there'll be like I think already we're doing soft releases into certain things I think even that bed thing that I got Stella is like a you know even the other med beds it's like these soft releases into the technology. You know, it's kind of like they let some patents through or something, but other ones that they just killed the people. So, you know, I I don't know. There's just like so much going on, but whatever is supposed to happen is always going to happen. That's the thing. And so if um, the, um, man, I keep getting so... It's like I keep getting to the end of the block and I have to go like, where was I? Um, okay, so the um, the technology with the, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, oh yeah, I didn't. Okay, so I, I didn't ever finish the thing with the snot thing, I gotta still tell, tell that. Okay, so in the other show, in the, the day after tomorrow, then when I was watching that, I was like, oh my God. This is weird. 
I was like, this is made in 04. And so first, one of the things, it has this storm that's going to go and hit the north. It's going to flash freeze people. Then it has this three-layered cyclone storm that's going to come in and hit California. Then it has a tornado come out of the blue, which all happened. All three of those things happened. And then... Um, what was the other one? Oh, and then it's the, um, cause now I gotta see, okay. So in the day after tomorrow, okay. So it was showing those things. And then I did some video little clip things to share them. And somebody came into the thing and said, watch 2012. And so that's why I'm getting kind of these three mixed up. Cause normally I don't watch these kinds of movies, but I do think I've seen all these but a long time ago. I think, or I may have seen just like little bits and pieces or maybe trailers. I don't know. Uh, but so in uh, 2012, because usually that, that kind of stuff starts, Susan starts being like, Wah! and th crashes and shit. It's like, I can't. But um, 2012, so in the day after tomorrow, theirs is about the blizzard thing. And, um, so there's is the, the blizzard thing. There's is the ice age, this thing that happened, the cracking in the uh, the Earth's surface and heat or something. I don't know all of the stuff that they were saying. And then it created this ice age, and it was hitting into the north, and so it was flash freezing. And then the people were having to um, uh, evacuate and go down south. And having to go to Mexico and they were making a whole thing about that and then um, I was trying to think though on the storm thing because that one it was definitely where I had the three storms and the tornado but then the whole focus was going to this rescue over in New York as everybody else was um, evacuating so then somebody told me go in and watch 2012 so I went in and put that one on and that one it was showing that one was something was just the cataclysm it was just the cat the, the the earth was um changing i can't remember if they said that there was a a, a, a catalyst if there was something that happened um you know like one, one volcano or something um because in one of these uh one of those it had the thing with the three storms which i'm positive it was the day after tomorrow it showed that same thing of like what they've been showing on the news with the three storms coming in and some of the, even the words that they used when they were saying stuff it was like oh my gosh and then the tornado that came in and out of the blue i'm positive was on that one but then on the 2012 one it was more just like global disaster like the tectonic plates but the things that were trippy and then the giant tsunami and then in that one the government has made these giant arcs and they want to they're taking their special people to go be the creators once the floods or the whatever has passed so these giant tsunamis are destroying everything it was felt up fires when it showed that la when it showed california <clears throat> It was like giant chunks of it lifted up and then flipped like a boat, kind of, and then fell into the water. And that was the part where I was like, oh, my God, is this like what's what's going to go down when the tectonic plates go? Like, I, I don't know. I, I'm having a really hard time not thinking that within the next whatever this a storm because they did have that tornado that came out of nowhere and in the show when they were like oh my god there's a tornado in california what and i was like oh my god that just fucking happened and I, when i saw the the footage even the woman who was showing it you know who had jumped out of her car and ran into that building she was just freaking out she kept showing her car and going we were in that we were, oh my God, we could be dead by now. You know, she was freaking the fuck out. And everything was just like, it wasn't just like a little tornado. I mean, it's a freaking shit thrown car. It's a mess. 
And so that is, um, you know, I mean, that's a program or a predictive program. I don't know. Like, is it disclosure? Like, because they know what some of this stuff is going to go down. But to me, for sure, that the cat, the water things, because the one guy in 2011, this was some scientist, and I know I heard another person reading about Edgar Casey predictions for this year. But this scientist guy talked about the, and this was 2011, and he was talking about the t tectonic plates or something, and saying that it's how what was going to happen, it was going to shift, and it was going to fall. But he said. And was he talking about with scripture or something? I don't know. Because he said, but don't worry because you'll know before it's going to happen. Because there'll be three storms back to back. And then after that, it's going to happen. <laughs> Man. And, and then watching those movies yesterday, I was like, oh my God. Jeez, I know, you know, it's all, you know, in movies, they make everything so crazy. Um, you, you, fucking the earth splitting and the people are jumping like evil can evil jumps. And, um, but that is what I saw in the Guinea uh, earthquake. That's what was happening. The, the, the shifts were huge, like in the movies. And the people were having to run and jump. It wasn't as big a gaps as in the movies, but fuck look scary as shit and so you know and that would take down all those buildings and then it will be there's going to be a tsunami or something that's going to hit over the whole coastline i mean it's not like you know it's where people try and pretend like they're predicting this stuff like maybe you are predicting it but it's already shown it's already prophesized it's already in our face it's just whether or not you're paying attention to it you know, because it's right there. The maps are about to change. And the whole... And I've seen other people talking about that. Some other science people talking about the changes on the map and stuff like that. So, I would definitely be paying attention to it. Like, I'd pay attention to it. So, oh yeah, the mucus -y thing. So, whatever it was, I don't remember. I don't think I blew my nose or something. But there was some sort of tickling and so when the tickling happened, then I don't, it seemed like something, there was something weird. I don't know if I blew my nose or something, but whatever the shift happened, all of a sudden I started sneezing, like hard sneezes. And I keep having these hard sneezes anyways. But the whole thing with mucus is, mucus is there for your body to catch any foreign toxin obstacle a particle or whatever to catch it so it can't get into the body so that's why you've got some in your nose and your throat and uh, your eyes start watering there would be some plasma it's not just like water coming out it's like a salty plasma so it's like a gel like what they're spraying on us or something and so the same like with the mucus in your nose and stuff and so then when you get a lot built up in here it's because there's a lot of bacteria or something in there and that's how people get like sinus infections and stuff and they start blowing out green snot which i have no green snot or anything it's when it's clear and like watery it makes no sense for it to be so um thick in here like that but to me, that is my body's trying to protect something in here. And so um, when I started sneezing like that, then I was like, oh, okay. So the particles, of the, the snot is kind of like where I was talking about how the vehicle with their moving stuff and why I'm saying like the water that they're spraying on us right now in my area like I, you know, it's all different in all different areas. But in my area, I noticed it started having like some sort of gel, some sort of like a plasma, some sort of thickener in it. And so the thickener would be the vehicle. So it has to have a certain thickness for certain things to travel. So say you could shoot out a bunch of little, uh, you know, fibrous things you could shoot them out, but they travel further if they have a spray to spray them. 
So it's like that, if you get that kind of imagery. So they need a vehicle that will transport them so that they don't just, you know, disappear, fall over, whatever. So um, that spray stuff that is, um, you know, is what is not drying the ground, not drying even the dishes. So, I mean, they're coming at it in all ways because they're putting it in our faucet too. And I don't know if it's the exact same stuff, but there's definitely some film or something going on with that too. And so the thing is, is so then, you know, normally the mucus, you would catch it and then you'd blow your nose and you'd get the stuff out. But since it can travel on, it needs a, a more heavy, denser, travel uh, vehicle and so hence the gel or whatever it is that they're thickening the waters with and so that it can transfer there so essentially if that were true then the mucus would also be a, a, a vehicle travel it would be easier for it to travel through the mucus which would be a function of the done on purpose and so then when you um think of that and then i'm like some i think kind of get trapped in the mucus but i don't know when i started sneezing and it was way back in there and stuff i was like oh so something way back in here is trying to get out because the movement in there was what like brought up the dust. And so the sneezing came from way back, the movement in there. And so the whatever is the thing that is traveling through the mucus or whatever it is, that it, it, it can go further. But I still think that there's, you know, probably depending on how thick your mucus is, I guess, and how, you know, because if you took everyone's mucosa from their body in different areas, it would have different pH and acidic levels. And so that is what so much of our diet is so important about, you know, um, the things that they tell us about our diet that are important aren't as important as the things that they don't tell us. You know, they keep us distracted with their feeding schedule and food pyramid and all their bullshit. But the truth is that you need to be more about aware of, to me, it has to do with your, uh, your DNA, for one thing, your general area, your environment, what is, because just like uh, a lot of people have said, whatever your sickness is so if you've got some sort of sickness like uh, people have noticed like if they get super depressed well all of a sudden st john's wart starts growing all over their yard so it's you know when people start realizing oh the universe is a part of me it's working with me like my yard starts sprouting what i need and so if you think about um that then it is um uh, what was I going to say? Because it is the, it's the same kind of thing with, um, uh, you showing you what you need. I, I just got lost somewhere in there, but hopefully it made sense where I was going with it. But anyways, the, um, so anyways, with the, the snot thing in the diet, like in everything, your gut, everything is going to have to do with this acidic, P, acidic and pH level, and so and that's why you know you should uh, uh, fermented foods and pickled foods are really important for our diet, and I think naturally back in the day people did that to extend their food longer but there is something very much about where you're at now i remembered where you're at and your location and what food is available will be what your body needs because your body is always adjusting to its environment so it's more about what is in grows in your area in what your 
body needs it's going to do the best on the important things uh, you know because so many people like get so caught up in the meat thing and stuff but there's still some people who are is still programmed into them they have to eat meat you can't shame people for who they are you have to let people process their bodies process the whole thing <clears throat> not you know tell them they're a bad person <clears throat> You know, it's them, they'll realize themselves that they're eating, <clears throat> like somebody eating something dead. Uh, you know, uh, this is a big thing that I hear, the, the super spirit, you know, you're, you're eating something dead, then you're taking in that dead energy and trying to process all that dead energy and stuff. And so, and especially if the animal, like there's so much now people are realizing like oh so you took these diseased cows in there cut the cancer out and then sold us the rest of the food like we're eating all this disease and stuff and so you know that's part of everyone's process and then it all goes kind of hand in hand with their respect for life and understanding but it's everybody's evolution it's their coming to their own realizations and so anyways uh, you know for right now with the food thing you know i think it's important about fats fermented and um let's see what i have your fats wherever you get them from i do a lot of olive oil uh and i like butter fats uh, fermented which i do the kombucha and vinegar stuff which the, is also with the kombucha that's like kombucha is like you know double whammy really for your system it does a lot of really positive things for your system and so uh you know and then certain minerals and enzymes and that's how we have to be more focused on actually energizing our avatar you know it's like the government you know if you think of your your vehicle your avatar is your vehicle then you, you know, you need to take care of it. And then the government is basically telling you, here, fill your car full of sugar water and we'll see how far you get. You know, it's like they are, they don't have our best in mind because everything that breaks on us, they make money off of it. So they want us to keep breaking all the time. So anyways, the, um, but that is something that each person has to come into their own realizations their own and all that to me comes from your speaking to yourself yourself will give you the guidance nobody needs to be telling you anything yourself will you just have to be remembering to listen and I really you know I've seen more people now talking about how weird it is how these people don't hear or see or think or you know how these different people process and since so many people are so caught up in the um the, 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 I don't know, non-essential workers, I can't remember what they're called, the CPs or whatever they are, the, um, the mindless people who are just here, like the extras or something, and who say that they don't think, they don't have anything going on inside their heads, and how that weird so many people have, especially like for people like me who have a strong uh, conversation like now I keep seeing like there's lots of people who have strong conversations going in their head and they're like what are you talking about like who tells you what to do how do you figure it out like uh, people like me are really weirded out by it but anyways I started thinking I wonder if so many people it was just like when the voices start speaking to them when they were a kid and trying to tell them don't do this don't do that don't get into trouble that they told the voices to shut the fuck up and they didn't want to hear it so that they cut themselves off from their guidance because it's very it's just very strange because i know that people i mean you can't be alive without some energetic source i mean nothing can be alive without energy so everything is energy and anything that has consciousness at some level if it's walking around and doing things and so it has some sort of consciousness even though even if it's very dependent on its environment to tell it what it is but you know that to me is all part of the manipulation of this reality so that is you know and that's for each person to wake up to and see 
you know. But anyway, so, so to this dream thing. So because there's all sorts of people with their dreams and predictions and stuff. And I'm very weary of this California thing. And my brother, I mean, I've got family there. And so, you know, and, and he's and that shit starts going down. He's in the middle of it. Because he's a first responder. So I was like, oh, my God. And he's right, like, he has been waiting. He would have already retired, I think. Like, he wanted to retire. He does a hard job. Like, he's been a fireman for a long time. And, um, and a lot of firemen don't reach retirement. And a lot of firemen die shortly after retirement because they've got so much damage to their lungs and their bodies and stuff. And he's got so much problems. He's got heart problems, all sorts of shit. And, um, and plenty of these. And uh, always wearing the, and so then he's, um, uh, so whatever, I, you know, I have a family there, so of course I don't want to think of him going through like the whole fucking place sliding into the water like the fucking Titanic. I don't know, it's scary, and I just know, I can't tell him anything, he, he thinks I'm crazy. So I can't get him to pay attention or to look or to take it serious what's going on. Like people don't understand and especially because they come at everything going on so much with revel revelations and the end of the world. And that's what people believe and think. And so they're just caught up in that storyline. Not the, you know, this is the cataclysmic uh, reset event. But, you know, if you want to survive, you better fucking get on your toes and start paying a fucking attention. But anyways, he wasn't even going to retire. He's got a place out on um, Salmon River in Idaho. And they've been building their retirement home. And my mom keeps telling him, leave, go retire. But his wife is very, uh, she works for a huge corporation of judges and lawyers who sell their services for mediation or something. I don't know, I just look at so much stuff so different than I used to. But, um, so this girl had this dream. And it's just, you know, and the same thing with the prophetic. When you have somebody who's looking at things from a certain position, they're going to translate what they're seeing through that view. So through that viewfinder is how they're going to understand and comprehend what they're seeing. So the translation, that's what I keep saying. It's, everybody's got to figure out their own translation. And so she said that, uh, that in the dream, everybody was outside. It, it, it seems something happened or something and everybody was outside. And she said that there was all these beams of light coming from the sky. In every beam of light, there was a person going up in the beam of light and she said that she started crying and she started praying in tongues and then she did a little side note that she never prays in tongues that she doesn't you know no shame to anybody who does but she doesn't do it and so it was very strange when she started doing it in the dream because all this stuff in this dream was so real and so she starts praying in tongues and then um she realizes she's also in one of the tubes of light that is pulling them up and everybody in all of the tubes are all uh, crying and uh, praying and she said there's all this singing and music like outside it's like everything is like the symphony and then when you look up she said that the people or the beings that were having the, the light she said they all looked different, but they were all angels. And she said, you know, some were just like eyeballs. Some were like, look like warriors. Some look like light. She said all of them look different. Look, to me, if I, you know, if I had that dream, my interpretation would be all the different beings from the different ships beaming people up out of the, uh, that aren't meeting the vibration of the planet so that they can go and heal. So that to me would be, but see, she, I think she interpreted it as the rapture, like, because she said that even when it started happening, that she told, uh, she started yelling out, where's my kids? I have to have my kids with me. And then she just went back into praying in tongues, she said, 
but it, she was aware that she wanted to bring her kids. But when she looked out, she just saw tons and tons of tunnels of lights and tons and tons of people in them. And then all of these different beings that there that were, uh, you know, up at the, you know, top of the lights or however. And, you know, that, you know, in her having it right now, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. It just goes right back to that whole thing of them moving people off the planet who don't meet the vibration. And again, we don't know when that cataclysm thing is going to occur. I mean, it, for sure, it seems... I mean, to, to me, it's going to shift us in another direction when people start awakening. But maybe the shift, like I was saying yesterday, is going to be more on a personal level. But then when we have the huge shift, the cataclysm occurs and, you know, the all the land mass changes that that's when we're actually in the age of Aquarius. That's when we start. And so then that is, because there's gonna be all these other shifts happening. Like we still have like the whole thing with the banks and the Jubilee. We have all of the stuff with the medical that, um, and we have all of these beings and stuff that are gonna start coming down and helping us with technology. Like we have all of that and I just, I don't know if that comes before or after the shift. I just know that the shift is coming. We're going the other direction. We're not going the direction that we're headed. It's going to be very abrupt and it has to do with the awakening to turn people in the right direction because it's, it's so weird. And, and I saw this other girl too. She was saying, man, I saw this video of this girl looking in the mirror and it's called the true, true mirror or something like that. And she said it was so cool because she could look in one and she could see what she sees, but then she could look in this other mirror and see what other people see. Cause it's something about how our eyes flip. And so she was explaining and she was the same way as like, man, I want to see what I look like in the other mirror, you know, like how different do I look to myself as I look to other people? And it's, uh, it's such a trippy concept. But anyways, uh, so there's other people also talking about that um, mirror thing. So you might be able to find one of those things about the true mirror or even just see the footage of them showing when people look in it, just so you can see, like, it's just, it's weird. Cause it's not like they look like a different person. They just look different. They just look kind of more happier or something. I don't know. I would be curious to see more because I just saw that one girl and she could have just been looking happy just because she was so pleased with what the, she saw in the mirror. So I don't know. That's the thing about why you need a whole bunch of, uh, that's how the experiments work or something. Like you need more reference to really draw a conclusion and so, anyways, it would be um, interesting. But anyways, so we still have those things to go through. And so if Joe, being in so much trouble right now, and he, I mean, he could be taken down any day. I mean, they can make a whole show of it. Take him down and old Kamala, horse face, goes in and she's all putting her big old smile out there like she's fucking done something good. Which, by the way, I just have to say, you know, that uh, how these women, they go and they, you know, do all this fake stuff with their hair and put on tons of makeup and all this, you know, uh, uh, shapewear and all this stuff to go out and attract a man or a woman or whoever they're interested in. Go out and to attract a partner. And then when they're together with the partner, then they're upset that the partner doesn't see who they truly are on the inside. It's like, quit fucking selling yourself from the outside. You, if you want somebody to see you from the inside, then that's how they have to get to know you from the inside. Otherwise, you're just, you're, you're luring them in with shallow shit, and then you're upset that they're shallow. What do you think you're going to get? You're going to get someone who is shallow, who's looking for somebody who looks a certain way, not somebody who's got depth to them. Most people, once you get accepted for what you look like, then you want to be seen for who you are. 
And that's very difficult to do with somebody who's a partner who's just focused on what you look like. And so, you know, to me, is you've got to go out and start developing yourself, finding who you are in the world, you know, go out and see what you enjoy to do. And when you're going out and enjoying what you do, then the you will nat naturally gravitate towards people who are like you and in your core, in your depth of being. So you will be more in alignment. You will have deeper relationships with them, but that's where you'll find a partner who is more in tune with you. Like it's, it's just so backward how, uh, you know, so much is spent on like the fashion and, uh, you know, all of it so that we can go out and get someone to love us, but then they don't love us for who we are. It's like, it's just backward. So anyways, we, um, you know, to me, it definitely seems like, you know, if they put her in, you know, maybe that is they could put her in on the 17th or 18th and she's apparently going around all excited about it. And then, uh, have the, finance thing fall on her to show what a doofus that she is that she has no skills she can't lead a country so that i um, mean just because she gives good blowjobs doesn't mean she knows how to fucking do anything with, with the whole world like she's just a puppet who you know all these puppets that are just willing to sell themselves sexually like, oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff coming out with Madonna now. Like, oh, I knew she was weird. Like, she's, ugh. But some of these people, man, they're just so, it is, um, you know, they follow the decrepit nature of themselves. And that is going to be a lot to have to base. Like, ew, some of the stuff is so gross what you hear. But, um, Anyways, the, the, the to me, I still feel good about this whole thing. Like the 19th and then the 20th is supposed to be. If they don't uh, meet whatever, there's nobody in office, then the corporation collapses because that's what everything is for. I had thought because they already, the paperwork had already gone through, I think in 2020, that bankrupted the corporation. And they had already emptied out the Federal Reserve. That was all done before Joe even got in. That is that is the absurd shit that goes on, you know. It's like all that shit was done. And so they already had it bankrupted. They already had it emptied. But they still play around with their money. I think George is always pulling out some bucks. And this is really creepy too. Is like uh, some of those people, Klaus and George, is like, ooh, just when they start talking. Like these evil motherfuckers, like, um, I, I just, no, I just hear Nazi all over them. Anyways, um, that, uh, if the 19th, that they, um, so if the, it's already bankrupt, it's already, there's no money, but this is part of the ending of it as an entity. And I know Trump, you know, he knew how to do all that stuff because he is corporate. So he knew how to take down a corporation. So, you know, it's all going to go seamlessly if that's the way it's supposed to go. Um, and that makes sense to me why there would be military blocking around because they're going to start taking down the puppets. Like there's going to be some fighting it possibly because the people who put the puppets in want to... You know, but it also could be part of the show. It could be because there's already so many countries who have already switched over to the gold standard. So, you know, and those things are going to be real abrupt awakening things for people. So, um, I don't know. You know, but just taking Joe out and then, I, man, I don't know. I, I just feel positive and optimistic and excited for what's going to happen this week. I hope some more stuff happens this weekend. But then I can't just be on my phone all the time. I would like to just be there just like a crazy person just oh, looking for somebody talking about something, what's going on. But, you know, for how much you have to hold it and your fingers are buzzing and like putting it over there. Because you have a little stick. I do have one of those little sticks too. But still, I keep my phone far away. And it's like, I think I just got to just 
calm myself down and relax and let things play out. We don't have to be in watching every little single thing. It is playing out and it does seem like it's really picking up. And so I'm, I'm feeling really good, but you know, I mean, there's a lot of tragedy going on. There's a lot of bad things happening for people to wake up and, uh, but everything is the transformation and everything has a good outcome if you take it that far. So, you know, don't get stuck in the trauma and the pain and keep moving and always come back to self because everything is to help you develop self. It's not so you can fix somebody else. It's so you can see yourself in all of the different pain that you carry life after life, trauma after trauma. So you can release those things and truly become the light being that you are, you know, and even if we aren't really turning into light, which I don't know, maybe we are, that you feel lighter, you feel brighter, you feel better. So you feel like, uh, you know, a light be being and you can be transparent. Like I'm not trying to hide anything from anybody. I'm just trying to be myself and show myself. And so, uh, you know, essentially that is a being of light, you know, just out there trying to spread love and, you know, be true and be authentic and not judge others and allow everybody their own way through this world and trust that everybody's spirit is just as strong as my spirit and speaking to them just as strong. And, you know, everybody has that challenge to begin to listen. And I am not going to interfere with anybody else's challenges and stuff. I'll be here to, you know, help give guidance by talking about what my experience is like. And, um, you know, but to me, everybody has your own unique experience. And don't, just because it doesn't match somebody else's, don't discount your own. Yours is just as valid as anybody else's. So really focus on your own expansion. And I'll just say this real quick because um, I had another comment the day. I, I get these ones a lot. This is one I get a lot is like they like how I think. You know, they like my perspective and stuff, which to me, my perspective isn't my own. I'm being given the uh, perspective, but it is, um, it, it just is, um, to me, I feel like that there's so many people who they're so trapped in their, their mind trap that you start hearing someone talking outside of the box. And then all of a sudden it's like, it is like fresh air to your psyche. And so a lot of people, you know, they want that kind of like, man, I never thought of that before. Yeah. And, uh, you know, open their mind. It is like a brush, breath of fresh air. But, you know, I know it, it's not me. So I'm not going to get all like, oh, I'm so superior. I'm, you know, because I know I'm the only thing that makes me different is I'm just listening and repeating what they say. Like, I've, I'm not just sitting here coming up with this stuff on my own. So, anyways, I will um, talk to you later. You know, I know that I can't even say, you know, uh, be safe and stuff because every soul is here doing its own thing and there's a lot of souls that are leaving a lot of souls leaving right now so you know just for those of us who are staying just stay strong and you know just remember we are kind of in observation at this point and to witness and allow everyone to experience this transition in their own way and so stay, stay strong and stay safe and um, just be aware. So I'll talk to you later.